Beware of enticements. Judges chapter 16 verses 4 and 5. Afterward it happened that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Entice him and find out where his great strength lies and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And every one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. So imagine this man who had a great call, and he was very aware of that call right from his childhood. And this unusual anointing of the Holy Spirit operating through his life. And this was Samson. And as he, in his adulthood, was going about doing what he felt called to do to judge Israel, people recognized. People were aware of his call. People were aware of his strength. And he had began to demonstrate that strength against the enemies of Israel, the Philistines. But the Philistines set out to trap him. They knew his area of weakness. And in that area of weakness, they set things up for him. So they sent Delilah into Samson's life and with one intention, entice him, get to know what is it that makes him so strong? Why is he so powerful? We've seen him do these outstanding uh, feats of strength and display this amazing power, but what's the secret? And in order to gain that secret, they sent Delilah to entice him. Now, isn't this an approach that our adversary, Satan, would take for our lives in order to weaken us and to disrupt and to uh, disturb the call of God and the anointing of God on our lives? Isn't that what the enemy would do? So we need to beware of enticements or what we would call as inducements to sin or what the New Test Testament clearly talks about as temptations. The opportunities that look very good, but yet the end result is to draw us away into sin and error and cause the call of God and the anointing of God to be dissipated or destroyed. Beware of enticements. So that's why the New Testament tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, Peter says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. He says, you know, be on guard all the time, because there's an enemy that's going out there looking for opportunities by which he can entice, by which he can come in gain an entrance into the life of the believer. So be careful. Not everything that looks good is going to bless your life. Not everything that seems to present a nice outcome is actually going to enhance or enrich the call and the anointing of God in life. You've got to be careful. What if Samson had guarded himself against Delilah? What if Samson had not given in to the enticements of Delilah? His story would have been much different, very different. But here began his downfall. He did not guard himself against Delilah's enticements. The choice is ours as we face the enticements of the enemy. Let's guard against it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us to be on guard against the enticements, the inducements, the temptations that come our way. Help us to steward the call, steward the anointing, and to reject and refuse the enticements. Give us the grace to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.